Okay. Hi out there. I am packing to go to Concan, Texas to teach. This is my subject. But while I was at it, I can't haul all my stuff around. So I've been working on um, little flyers here of different subjects uh, that I will be teaching in the future on Zoom. I already taught the desserts in Fort Worth and it was a blast. Um, a lot of the students just picked one or two things, did little dessert plates. They kind of put their own spin on it. So um, we would have to pick and choose which one. Uh, but I just kind of want to give you an idea of some different things I teach. And uh, this one, I'm looking forward to it so much next week. Um, these I'll call my wine o'clock snacks. Um, also, I do uh, take commissions. And I have some of these pieces are for personal, my personal um uh, use and some of them have been sold uh, gifts different things like that um, I actually use these uh, pieces because they're food safe and um, wine and cheese um, you know uh, bread um, different things like that okay but these are great subjects that I would love to teach in the future and have taught Okay, here's some more. And I know y'all have seen this, but these make little great dessert plates. Um, <laughs> it's fun to have a piece of pizza on a, on a pizza plate uh, or a burger on a burger plate. Um, okay, what else do I have? I have my breakfast plate. Now, I know this looks like an ice cream sundae, but it's actually a yogurt parfait. But um, it's just a fun uh, plate. Uh, breakfast, uh, I love to eat my eggs and bacon and things like that. I don't eat donuts. It's uh, just not my thing, but I absolutely love painting sprinkled donuts and cookie subjects. So these little snack plates are great for appetizers. They're about five by five, um, but this would be a great series of plates to paint. Um, for gifts, um, you could put a lot of these on a big platter. I am planning on painting a lot of a big platter where I can put random things for um, when we entertain. Now, this is really cool. I do sell a lot of my uh, fish paintings. Um, I am, I have enough interest. So at the end of May, there's a few people that have already uh, signed up for the speckle trout. So we'll be focusing on this. This will take two days. Um, two to three hours each session, but I just wanted to give y'all an idea of other fish that's really neat, like mahi-mahi fish, um, that's a yellowfin, redfish. These sell very well in Louisiana, So, um, and this is a red snapper, and they're very popular uh, fish. Uh, a lot of the uh, native Cajuns over here uh, fish for these, except for the mahi-mahi fish, but I just love the colors. Okay, and for those of you who love sushi, like I do, sushi plates are really neat. Um, I, I do use them. I don't make a raw sushi at home, but I have learned how to do uh, gravlax and um, uh, salmon, and, uh, smoked salmon and things like that. They're really fun to use. Um, in the fall, I have... Um, fall platters. That would be great for Thanksgiving in the fall. And I do display, I rotate my artwork. I don't keep everything out at one time, but these are great subjects to teach. Um, I have one in warm colors and one in cool colors because different people like different um, color themes. And I'm more of a cool uh, type person. I paint mostly in cool colors, but I really like these warm colors when the fall comes around. Okay, so for Christmas, different um, treats like cookie platters, uh, bonbon plates, things like that. These make great gifts, and I would probably teach this seminar closer to Christmas because, well, cookies are any time of the year, but this is a Christmas cookie platter, and this one's, uh, you may have seen this one in the iPad magazine, and it's like old world cookies, I guess, ice ginger cookies, and it does have a lot of 3D effects. Uh, so that one's actually um, in an iPad magazine, I think, here before last. Okay, we're back to square one. So this is just a touch of um, 
some of the things I paint. I do paint, I have some tropical fish and like Cajun plates, things like that. I'm trying to get away from the glare. So anyway, this, I will come back and do another video at another time, but this kind of gives you an idea and this will lay out some of my classes for the next uh, year. All right, hope to see you soon in a town near you or on Zoom.